The question is, for 2021, will Larry make it on YouTube? We don't know, but he will be uploading more consistently. Question number two, should you learn how to code in 2021? Still feels like 2020, just smoothed right into it. That is the question for the day. If you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe if you like this channel. If you're one of my subscribers who want to support this channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. These are the steps of going to program. You get curious and you're like, hmm, can I do this? And I, I think the answer is usually yes, you can do this. But the one question you should ask yourself is why do you want to learn this? You know, do you want to learn this for money? Do you want to get into programming because you like being challenged? Do you want to get into programming because you want to make a company one day? Do you want to get into programming because you just want to, you know, do a couple of cool things and just say you could code? Like, whatever the case is, what's going to push you to, you know, keep learning how to code? Because it's a difficult process. Um, it starts out easy and then it just gets harder and harder, which is fine. But at some point it peaks and you kind of just you know get pretty okay at it but my point is the why matters so much and here's why my personal experience with coding when i first found it i found this website called free code camp which is a big website now but when i first found it, it was like three weeks old it was a great website to just kind of you know dip dip my toes in kind of understand what's going on um i remember being so frustrated trying to make like a simple page like not anything complicated no algorithms no data structures just simple like my name on a page and centered like i make a navigation bar and i hated it. it was so frustrating and i did that then at some point i switched from pre-med to computer science and i was like yeah computer science i'll get rich so much faster took a couple of computer science classes and the whole time I had no idea what's going on. Looking back, I could do that stuff in my sleep, but now I'm just like, I don't know what was going on. I have, I'm shocked I passed those classes. And as you guys know, I did not finish school, so. But here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. What's going through your mind right now is probably like a little bit of doubt, right? While you're wondering, should I learn how to code in 21, 21, in 2021? You're going through a little bit of doubt, which is okay. You know, everyone goes through that. Some people question, hey, I'm, I, I might not be smart enough for that. I feel like I need to know a lot of math for that and some people just try to code at first and then they hated it so they were like why would i ever try that again you know whatever the case is you have to understand with with coding it's it's so many possibilities that could happen in your life but you have to understand that nothing worth doing was ever easy that's how i viewed coding you know when i was going through it that's what was running in my mind nothing worth doing was ever easy if it's too easy you get bored but if it's challenging you're proud of yourself when you look back you're like damn i learned so much from this and for the most part yeah coding isn't for everyone but understand like for the most part once you get past this like bs doubt you've created without even touching a keyboard to code then you could finally start learning so getting started the most popular thing that is asked by new people coming into programming is what language should I learn? Because they learned that there's so many languages so they keep asking, what language should I learn? Will I tell you what language you should learn? No, what I will tell you to do though is Google. Keep Googling. If you want to become a programmer, the number one thing you're gonna be doing in your job is Googling. You're gonna be doing more Googling than coding. I'm gonna be honest with you. But here's your first assignment. Google, if you wanna make, you know, web pages and like, you know, if you're into Tumblr and making things look nice and making themes, hey, what coding languages should I learn to make themes for websites? What coding languages should I learn if I want to work with robots? What coding languages should I learn if I want to hack my Alexa? What coding language should I learn if I want to make a self-driving car one day? All this stuff, you know, will add up. Coding languages are nothing but tools, right? You don't have to learn every single one, but throughout your career, you're going to be doing so many different things and you're going to be picking different tools to make these amazing things that you're thinking of, you know? So now you have to figure out how you're going to learn coding. You know, there are three paths that I could think off the top of my head that should matter the most. I, it's not off the top of my head, I outlined this video. There is college, there is self-taught, and there are boot camps. Run it back, I'm gonna give you some positives and some negatives, right? College is like a programmer's least favorite way of learning. <laughs> Typically, simply because it takes such a long time, four years of college to learn something that you could have taught yourself strictly for a year of just straight discipline and learning. But the positive, for example, we still live in a world where degrees ma matter somewhat. In tech, it doesn't matter as much, but you know, some cases they still do. And you know, it looks better no matter what, I'm not gonna deny that. When you don't have the experience, 
for example, I have about two years of experience, right? But new college grads will get an interview before I get an interview. Keep in mind, I have real world experience. All they have is a degree and a couple of projects and you know, that's fine, you know, but for the most part in these days, new grads will get an interview before you. Sometimes a degree doesn't matter, but do you wanna take four years to find out if it, how much it matters? Like, or do you just wanna, you know, teach yourself another major downside is student loans man like student loans like as soon as colleges found out that the government <laughs> i don't want to rant about colleges student loans but point is student loans at what is it worth it college is much more than just learning one thing it's more than just getting your degree the people you'll meet the places you'll go the experiences that you know your the way you view your world might change entirely through college so you got to take that into account but student loans the self-taught route the self-taught way could be the fastest possible way for you to go from nothing to job ready and this is all dependent on someone who's very disciplined the downside of this is you can be someone who's not disciplined you could be someone who needs their hand held and be told what to do because hey you know we all have bad habits and that's okay you might need someone to you know push you when you get stuck the downside of this it's like a lonely road you're going to be focused um you're going to be putting in like eight hour days if you're lucky enough to have that much free time eight hour days of just grinding and learning right another reason is lack of community yeah you could find community on reddit twitter or whatever but in terms of having someone who's learning the same stuff as you right next to you like if you're working on the same type of project and bounce questions off each other that's the best way to learn is just continuously asking questions and continue, continuously getting stuck you know it has its downsides but the upsides are in my personal opinion you become somewhat of a well-rounded type of person because you've tried a little bit of everything i think in terms of discipline and persistence it really pushes you to be a persistent programmer so maybe when you finally get a job you're persistent in like bug fixing or whatever the case is like that matters so much if you could work your <laughs> If you can have that type of focus when nobody is paying you, imagine what you could do when someone is paying you. In reality, all programmers are self-taught though, because even if you have a degree, you're not going to be doing the same things you learned in college. Every time you switch from job to job, you're going to be learning something new. You're going to be learning a new tech stack. Your job might find this new coding language that was invented three years ago, but you graduated college seven years ago. Like, you know, it, it, you're going to be learning on the job anyway. So everyone is self-taught. A new and upcoming way to go is a boot camp. The boot camp, I will say, is a very cool way to get a deep dive into coding. Downside is they typically require you to drop everything because it's a boot camp, drop everything and learn coding for however many months. So typically, if you're already in a situation where you have to do rent, you know, there's some places where they do part time boot camps, right? But Typically, they're full time and you have to drop everything. And this is your only responsibility for the next three months because they want you to get a job as soon as possible. And they know it's a hard road to go. But the upside is so much better, in my opinion. A lot of places have uh, payment programs where they, you won't pay a cent until you finally get a job, which I think everywhere should. Do. If colleges did that, colleges would not make as much money. <laughs> Imagine a college that you don't have to pay for until you get a job because now they're incentivized to help you actually land a job instead of just giving you a degree and it's like, hey, go. You know, we didn't help you learn how to land a job, but go. <laughs> Another upside for, that I found while I was in a boot camp is, you know, the, the community. I was surrounded by people who are smarter than me. I was always bouncing questions off a bunch of people. Um, continuously learning. There's so many different ways to learn and so many different code bases to read. Like my code for a project will not be the same as another student's code for a project, but I get to learn how they did something. And I think that's a really cool thing. And I can learn why they did something a certain way. You know, for me, the, only, the main takeaway I want you to take from this video, takeaway I want you to take from this video, is the fact that if you could find a community or a friend or two that will help you push and learn the same things as you, like if you could find that, it will definitely help your self-taught route go much smoother. Um, Cause you already know the mind print, the mind plays tricks on you and it makes you want to give up sometimes. But I think if you could focus for three months 
if you could just give yourself three months and just see what type of progress you make, it will push you just off the inspiration. You will inspire yourself based off how much you've learned in the past three months. The tech industry is an interesting one. I had a, I heard a story of someone finding a job simply because they asked for a job in tech and they didn't even know basic HTML and CSS, which is, as everyone knows, is a starting ground. You know, they, didn't, they knew nothing about coding and they got a coding job. Yes, that is a very rare one in a million type of situation but my point is if you could prepare yourself enough for someone to give you an opportunity that's what luck is you know you could get lucky enough to learn about coding for three months and you find out about a job in your little town or someone's dad is hiring whatever the case is and you could just convince them to hire you you are now in the door you are now in the industry but one thing you should not do is just sit around and watch videos like this <laughs> Don't overthink, don't keep wondering. At some point, just start and get going. And I promise you, it is worth the effort. It's worth the fight. It's worth the crying. <laughs> it's worth the debugging and fixing an issue for six hours. It's worth going to sleep without fixing an issue and dreaming about it. It's worth all that if you love the challenge and if you love what you're doing and if you have a great idea and you want to see it come you know to fruition or whatever that word is that is all i have to say about this issue or topic but i hope you guys enjoy this video please make sure to like and subscribe this year is going to be a big one i'm rooting for a lot of you use this as your starting point if you want to start how to use this as your starting point if you want to learn how to code you know um i think it's worth it anyways peace out